And off the top at five now, it has taken all day, but crews were finally able to remove this plane from a home in Miramar. It, an airplane just fell on top of my house. Please send someone really Repeat the location. And you hear there, we're also hearing the 911 calls for help as we learn the names of both people on that plane who were killed in the crash. And we are hearing again from that homeowner who called 911 that you heard there, still stunned by what happened. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live with the latest on the investigation. Andrew. That's right, and right now that homeowner can't go back home even though the plane has since been removed. You take a look right back there over my shoulder, there's still damage. The power has been cut off to the house as well. They are lucky. But this is a really tragic situation all the way around. So many people remembering the two men on board. The plane is lifted off this Miramar home, hoisted up into the air. It's a slow and steady process. Officials with the NTSB just beginning their work. The family in that home at the time of the crash says they'll have to stay out a little while longer. There's no power and anything, so we just we're gonna go in, grab some stuff, and get out again. Did you say plane crash? That's the problem. The question now is why this happened, why the single engine Aventura 2 plane crashed just south of North Perry Airport. Two people on board killed, according to detectives 34 year old Anthony Yen, an instructor, and 32 year old Jordan Travis Hall. He was courageous, ambitious, anything that he wanted to do, he, he got it done. Friends sharing happy memories of Hall, a flood of condolences on social media. He was passionate about flying. We talked about planes and him flying. I told him that I thought it was amazing. He did YouTube videos. He was always posting about planes. He was the kid that could light up a room. This is video of the plane shortly before takeoff. Authorities say it was leaking fuel. Witnesses say they knew something was wrong. I heard the engine stop and then the plane started turning back around like that. Many saying to them, it doesn't seem real. A short time ago, a friend and former student of Antony, the instructor, said he's best described really as a force in aviation. So experienced, so knowledgeable. Coming up, Local 10 News at 6 o'clock. We're going to introduce you to that pilot, tell you more about his life, what people are saying about him as well. Stick around. That's latest here in Miramar. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. So very sad. Thank you, Andrew.